Hey guys, this is JJ Halloween Guy here today to review for you the Jemmy 2005 Freddy Krueger. As you can see, I do have two of them right here. They are both the 2005 model because the 2006 model of these guys actually had the purple button on the base. The 2005s, on the other hand, did not because back in 2005, they hadn't come up with the purple button yet. Um, This is my first one right here. Uh, doesn't work. The head mech's completely, and the mouth mech are both completely taken out of this guy. Um, he isn't completely fried, but the only thing that works on him is his head motor. No audio, no mouth or eye movement. And even the head motor, while it does spin, it spins way too much. So I just completely scrapped out everything on this guy, except for the eyes. The eye mech is still in there, although it doesn't do anything. So the only thing that you hear from him when you pro plug him in is um, just a head motor spinning, if you listen really closely. He doesn't do anything else. I tried replacing the speaker. Nothing works, so... Yeah. Um, he looks pretty good, though. The only thing with him is... This arm right here is was snapped. Previous owner did let me know. So it's a little bit smaller than this one's arm. And it's not posable, but that's fine. Um, overall, though, I'd say they both look pretty good. These are both the original gloves. This is not the original hat, though. This is an original hat. Uh, and then this is my new one. This one fully works. Um... When I first got it, actually, uh, the mouth and eyes both had a split gear. But fortunately, I was able to go in there and replace both. I actually had to take off the latex mask. And in doing that, I actually didn't cut a slit. It was really painstaking, but it took me an hour, maybe even a little bit more. But I actually was able to get the entire latex mask off. Then I replaced the split gears, and then I put the latex mask back on. It took me a couple hours to do that. But I was able to do it without cutting a slit. So if you do have one of these guys and you don't want to screw up the latex, then I suggest really just it's all manpower. You can actually add a little bit of powder on the inside of the mask to make it slip off easier. But you can actually get it done with enough force not even force because you want to be careful but just you got to be willing to give it a couple like you give it an hour you know it takes a while to do but you can actually get it done um now these guys are pretty cartoonish i know a lot of people don't like that about them but i honestly think it's fine um like i said this one now fully works and this one doesn't work at all detailing on them is pretty good this is the original 05 hat so it's pretty blank, no stripe or anything. Like I know on this one, you've got this little kind of, I don't even know what you call that, but it's there. But honestly, I prefer, you know, the originality of the hat and everything. Um, then here's the face detail. It's pretty good. Uh, here's this one. Each Freddy, this goes for all Jemmy animatronics, really, not just him, but... Each of them really looks slightly different, fresh out the factory. Like, you know, you're never going to get two that are completely 100% alike. And again, that goes with any animatronic, really, not just these guys. Um, but yeah, the detailing on them is both pretty good. Um, the sweater is really good, like, material. It's like an actual sweater. Like, they really didn't cheap out on this guy at all. This is like a full... Like, it's a thick, like, it's an actual sweater. It isn't a costume, you know? Same, again, this one's also the original sweater, so. The glove is the only thing I'm not a fan of on this guy. It's, I mean, again, this is like an actual glove right here. It's a little thin, but that's okay. And then this is just plastic, obviously, you know, with it being in stores and everything, they didn't want to give it a metal glove. I completely get that. But I think they could have done a little bit better on the detailing on this these ends here. This part really shouldn't be silver like this. It should be this color, and just the blades should have been silver. But I get that that would have been a lot more work for them, and it probably wouldn't have came out very good anyways. So I get why they did that, and I'm fine with it. 
I have been thinking of possibly replacing this glove out for a NECA glove, but or a NECA Nightmare on Elm Street glove, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to do that just because, again, I like keeping everything original on these guys, and you would not believe how many staples are holding these things in. I think it's like two staples right here, attached to a piece of Velcro, actually, that keeps this sleeve rolled up. And then there's another staple here, I know, and maybe even one on the bottom, too. Like, I'm not really sure how many exactly, but I know it's a lot. Um, and then you can see the detailing on the hand here. Pretty good. Uh, not horrible. Again, I like it. It's a little large, like, compared to this hand and everything. But this one's just, like, a blank hand, and this one's completely fully sculpted, so I get why it's big. And then here is the pants. Again, I'd say slightly thin, but honestly, this is like, again, real pants. It's not, like, they really aren't cheaping out. Then you come down here, um, you've got the basic Jemmy boot design. This one's base is a little scuffed up. This one's actually much better. Um, but yeah, the basic Jemmy boot design. This one, they colored brown. Looks like they actually did a little bit of, like, staining or something. Um... But honestly, I think this guy was the first one to use these boots. I could be wrong. Uh, there's the collapse button. Again, 05 model does not have a purple button, but the 06 model does. Here's the motion sensor right here. He's only sensor activated. There's no other buttons. You press that, obviously, he collapses down. And then there is the sound sensor. I think, I believe those are sound sensors. I've noticed them on basically every life size and i'm 99 percent sure that's the sound sensor that those little holes i could be wrong though and then back here actually let me just turn them back here you have the adapter jack and everything uh just on and off and then as you can see it says nine volt dc um it doesn't tell you how many amps, but based off what I've seen from other people and what they've told me, it's apparently 9 volt 1.5 amp, as from what I've heard. That's what I'm using on them right now, and that's what I've heard, so I'm going with that. Uh, but yeah, I I'd say that these guys are really detailed. They really didn't cheap out on the clothing or anything. Could have done better detail on this, though. And then um, this is basically the first life-size six-foot licensed character i believe him the uh wade the butlers and then party monster were the first three real six-foot life sizes but he was definitely the first licensed six-foot life size um and yeah i mean there's nothing else i really have to say about this guy oh actually one more thing before i turn him on he has no exaggeration 10 phrases so that's i mean i think that's pretty cool too like they gave him a lot of phrases and they it is actually voiced by robert england himself he came into the jemmy studio apparently and recorded all the voice lines on this guy so that's i think that's pretty cool anyways i'm gonna come down to the base here and quickly just flip them on
Alright, so there he is in action. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the mouth movement is pretty weak on him, and that's after I replaced the split gear, before the split gear is basically unseeable. But yeah, that's just how it is on these 05 Freddies. They have pretty bad mouth movements. I've seen a couple who have half-decent mouth movements, but really not a lot of these guys got very good mouth movement, mine included, of course. And that's... I re-glued the mouthpiece onto the latex and everything and it's just not very good but i'm honestly fine with that like i don't need it perfect i mean as long as it moves and fully works you know i'm fine with it so yeah that is the jemmy 2005 nightmare on elm street freddy krueger bye